Good morning guys and welcome back to the vlog. Beautiful blue skies up there, which is a change from yesterday. Uh, normally I come over, I try to come over on a Monday. Uh, yesterday it was just a no-go area. It rained all day, it was awful. And it was still raining last night and I thought, if it's sunny tomorrow I'll be shocked because it hasn't stopped. And yet here we are, beautiful, beautiful sunny day. So let's go and have a look and uh, give you your update. This is, ah, oh, it's lovely, lovely dry day. They got all sorts going on here, guys, look. And as you can see there, they're laying out ready to uh, get the concrete in. Let's go and have a look at what they've done. Okay, excuse the noise of the mixer. But look at this now. That's so much better. So much, so much better. That looks ace, doesn't it? That's so much better. And let's have a look through here. And they got their, their toilets there. And there's the kiosk there for uh, aerospace. And obviously aerospace. Should we have a look around aerospace? Let's have another look around aerospace, see if anything's changed. But yeah, we, we, we now know, don't we? Uh, the last video, we know that the uh, wacky gold mine is waiting for the roof. It's the old dodging roof is going to be uh, going on top of that. Which I think is a cool idea because, like, the wacky gold mine, yeah, if it had a new roof on it, it'd look a bit strange, do you think? Well, I, I think, like, having an older roof on it, it's been used before, it, it kind of adds to the effect of it being the wacky gold mine, you know? I think that's a I think that's a brilliant idea, and also it's good to reuse materials, isn't it? You know, it uh, it brings the cost of things down. And talking about the new Dodgem, I was just with Henry now, and he said that they've been told the Dodgem will be here for Easter. So I hope so. I really hope so. And also, we're not going to have to wait too much longer to see this go back up. Now, Henry has told me that the marquee which the old ice rink is coming down next week that's what they're hoping so if that when that comes down this can go up which is a brilliant uh, brilliant news let's have another little look around this see where it's been out in the weather now got a bit of surface rust on there obviously there that'll be uh, all sorted before they bolt it back together but it's a monster and I cannot wait to see it lying in the skies again. I really, really can't. Is there anything new that they've done? I know they were doing some um, uh, crack test. The crack testing was going to be done on it. I don't, I don't know uh, what the score is, whether it, what's been done. I don't know. But it, it's, it's still here. Yeah, it hasn't it moved. So, I, yeah, I, I, I'm just excited to get this thing, to see this thing back lying in the skies. And there's the artwork, look at that. That's amazing mate, absolutely amazing. I don't think it can get through there. And this is the third, the third lorry now. This is amazing mate, it's amazing. You know, and you see these parts and you think, oh yeah, I recognise that. You know, this is what they, this is what they, uh, they're, they're in whilst they're bolting up. You know, the, the, the centre section and yeah, it's, it's, it baffles me, it really does. Let's have a little look in here. Guys, let's go up. Let's go up and have a little look. Hen I know Hen Henry won't mind. This is insane. Let me show you inside. Look. That is mad, mate, isn't it? That is insane, mate. <laughs> it's insane. Look, let's try and figure out what section this is. Is this? Let's have a look around by here. Let's see if we can uh, figure out what this part is. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I know that's the centre there, isn't it? Uh, also, a bit of surface rust is around that. Look, and you can see all the brakes. Look at all the brakes. It's getting a bit closer. Look at all the. Uh, it's just like brake pads, isn't it? Like on a car, but. What's it? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And it's probably the same on the other side. So it's like 18 brake pads to slow that down. That's insane. And this is a view from up here. So cool, man. Right, let's get back down. And this is the fourth and final truck. Have a walk along it. The colours are immaculate, mate. Looks absolutely amazing. 
and that's the other half there look or the other section with all the brake pads in oh, that's mad isn't it that's absolutely bonkers mate the speakers and this is where we've just were up in there so let's think now this is the centre isn't it I can't, I can't figure it out. I can't, I don't know. I, yeah, that, that there. I get, I, yes, that there, would bolt onto the end of that. Yeah, because I can remember those pins there. See that pin? Where am I getting it? That pin there, look. See, it goes into that groove there. So that goes on that end, or maybe the other end. And the other one we looked at, would go on the opposite end. What? See? I can put this together by myself, mate. Let's have a look around the other side now and then uh, we'll wander through the fair. Oh yeah, that's the boring side. There's not really much to see there. So as we come back to the wacky gold mine, this, oh my days, the messages I get for this, it's insane. But, as you can see, like, it's so close, isn't it? We're so close to completion. And <laughs> it's going to be one heck of a ride. I honestly can't. I can't wait. I can't wait for this. That's going to be amazing. Sizzler, looking lush. Everything looks better. Oh, I'm not. I'm feeling the wrong way. <laughs> and there's a Sizzler, right? Looking lush, and everything looks so much better when the sky is blue. I gotta say. And this is the new. The new paving. Guys, it's a hundred times better, isn't it? Henry said he got some new signs to go on the front there. No mention of it being painted, but I didn't want to push him. I know they got so much going on, guys. It's, it's absolutely bonkers. And um, whilst I was with him, he he was he was calling to find, try, see, and get, yeah, see if he could get some information about um, the new rides coming. And guys, these, these are coming from all over the world. The, the the first phone call was uh, was in French, and the second phone call was uh, Turkish. It's absolutely insane. But about the rides, uh, they couldn't really. Um, it was a, it was a case of we'll call you back kind of uh, conversation. So we didn't get a definitive um, date on on when these rides are coming. But the Dodgem Henry is told by PWS that he's going to be here for Easter. So. That is amazing because once that's year, you know, things can start moving forward then with a wacky gold mine, you know, um, once the Easter half term is over with. From my understanding, everything should be here by June. So, fingers crossed, mate, because uh, this is the fairground industry and it doesn't always go to plan, you know, thing. Well, it's the same in any, any industry, isn't it? You know what I mean? Um, because there's so, so many factors, you know? Um, that, that, that can be involved, especially when you, these rides are being built abroad. Fingers crossed, by the summer, all the rides will be here. That's, that's fingers crossed, mate. Right, let's have a little nose through now. Uh, I don't think we need to walk around there, do we? There's the gallopers there, awaiting their signs to be put back on. Uh, everything over there is just they're still the same. We'll go down through the fair year. As you can see there, the ice rink is, is still up. But, yeah. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that's down next week. And Henry says, when that comes down, aerospace is going straight up. So that's what we're looking for. This is all nice here, mate. It's all looking good. And what we got? What's going on up there then? Can I hear something? I thought I heard something coming from that direction. No. But talking to Henry and Yanto, and Yanto said Sunday was like the old days, he said, you know, where the, you got, um, it was packed. He said, you know, almost full rides. So uh, that's really good. The walls are there. Looking good, mate. Love it. That Dodgem coming is, is it's gonna be a massive deal. We finally see the back of this old Dodgem and uh, it'd be interesting to see what becomes of it because nothing ever goes to waste nothing goes to waste mate you, Henry will find a, something for this you know when you think of all the work 
they put into this to make it that bit bigger and square off the edges, you know, just to turn it into an ice rink for one year, you know. And then the following year, this was purchased and the ice rink was bigger and it was better. But Henry has also said that next year, possibly, they, they'll reuse that, but they'll make it lower so that it's, the wind doesn't affect it so much. But yeah, they've done an amazing job just to, to keep that there. I'll tell you that, I'll hat off to them for that. And down this end of the park, yeah. Top scan, amazing. Gravitron, Hellraiser, it's all lush mate. Another thing Henry said was, down where the runaway train is, that's going to be moved and that's going to be a kind of a food court area down there. And I think that'll be a really nice idea where you've got, you know, you can t you've just got one area you turn up to and then you've got your choice of uh, different foods. And what's nice is, it's flat down there. And it did flood, it did used to get a lot of uh, water down there but they, they've they put drainage in now so that that's not that's not the case um, but yeah this is this is what I'm being told guys because as I turned up this morning Henry was here and uh, so it was nice just to because we've been missing each other he was pleased to see me and it's, it's always it's always a pleasure to see him he's, he's, he is a nice guy guys but one bit of bad news so many people have asked me about Orbiter whether it's coming back and Henry told me it won't be back because the family have sold it. Was it Evans's, I think? Had it. Which is a shame because he was a nice guy as well. And he'd been here for, God, oh, I, I don't know, a good many years. But yeah, apparently Orbit has been sold. So it's not going to be back. But what Henry did say was he's looking at buying frogs. Um, he said there's two he's looking at at the moment. So yeah, it, the Orbiter could be replaced by frogs but that's along with the other rides which uh, Henry have ordered brand new so I, I think the frogs from what I can gather it's not a brand new ride that he'll be buying he's like there's two he's looking at um, so possible if he does a deal we'll have frogs here a Henry Danter own pair of frogs which yeah people love the frogs but Orbiter I don't know it's gonna be a bit, a bit weird without Orbiter because well I, I'm sure Orbiter has been here every year more or less since since they reopened them, eh? I don't know, I might be wrong, but yeah, it seems to have been here a long time. So I think that's just about covered everything in here. I think we're going to have a little wander now and uh, see what else we can see outside of the fairground. As we come outside then, guys, we've got the Beachhead Bar there and the soon-to-be Showman Bar. Uh, they don't seem to be in a, a, a massive rush to get this open. Actually, we'll go inside and I'll show, I'll show you where, where they're at with that. But yeah, the Beachhead Bar down there, and see, see the see the dolphin on the wall there but up this end and obviously they were a matching pair they've taken this one down uh, they've channeled the, the wall out there for some reason I, I would to, to run a cable or something I, I would have guessed I don't know I don't know what they're doing maybe they're gonna put something here I don't know but it's been taken down now I thought that that was concrete it was molded concrete but now it's made of fiberglass let, let me take it inside and show you Right, if I just bring you in here and just show you quickly. This is the repairs being done. Oh, we've got some music. I think it's coming from a machine. We, these, are, these are off the gallopers, look. They've been all um, maintained and uh, uh, refreshed. They were had down to establish 1857. And as you can see, there's lots of them. And this is the bar that'll be opening. Uh, it, there's no date yet, but as you can see, it's, it's come, come along really nicely. And what else has I wanted to show you in here? Oh yeah, and look, this is that dolphin. Now, I, I, I always thought, all the years these dolphins were on the wall, I always thought they were concrete, you know, and moulded, but nah. It's not, it's fibreglass. Made out of, <laughs> made out of fibreglass. But, wow, that's, uh, I don't know, that blew me away, I was shocked. We've got some lights here as well, let me in refurbished it's all happening mate it's all happening it looks really good so even when you drive past the fair and you think well nothing's changed there's so much has changed every single day every single day something changes something's done more work's done more work's complete i think that's where the music is coming from from this year <laughs> but yeah it's not open today the bar freshly ground coffee two pound a cup it looks nice in there, guys, in all fairness. They've done a nice job. It is nice. We have been in there, haven't we? We've had a look. 
Yeah, it looks nice. A couple of pool tables. Yeah, it's nice. Plenty of chairs, plenty of seating. And Henry did tell me there's a, they got some deal going on with the uh, uh, with certain beers. Uh, well, I can't remember what they were. No, I don't know. As you look down there, looking all good, mate. Looking all good. I think we'll go over to the gardens, have a little nose. Maybe go down to the front, is it? I don't know. Where do you want to go? Guys, if there's some part of the island that you want me to show you, just let me know, because, you know, I feel like sometimes that we, we, we should show the same kind of things. Very often. What's this helicopter, then? Don't say it's a helicopter. I know it's a helicopter. It's less show, isn't it? I love it, mate. I love it, yeah. Spotlessly clean. Every time. Every time. This thing over here, I'm sick of talking about. Someone want to pull their finger out of somewhere and get it sorted, man. Nothing, nothing takes this long. Bit of subsidence on the end. I can be cured. Do you know what I mean? Uh, why is it not progressing? Does my nut in that does. Stupid. There's so much going on. So much, so much good things going on, you know? Like Henry spending not just thousands, we're talking millions on making the fun fair the best it possibly can but then you see this place and oh it's just annoying anyway look at this tides on its way in absolutely stunning and down there and we got we've seen some waves down there didn't we there's a busy beach again plenty of people enjoying the beach i like it a lot it'd be rude not to get a closer look at the beach wouldn't it look at all the sand yeah washed over with all the weather. Oh my days. There's still high tides guys, look at the uh, the seaweed line there. It's quite mad. Well I suppose it is spring in it. Spring tides. So spring tide is usually the highest time of year tides wise, I think. What's going on here then? Oh wow. Bit late in the day for uh, ploughing the beach. But it's not been done, is it? I don't know what's happened there. I don't know, something's gone wrong, yeah? Broke down, I think, but it looks... It's, I don't know. But when you see the beach all beautifully raked, you know, this is the machine that does it. And this is the man that does it, yeah. The main man. Um, I, don't, I don't know, I'm guessing it was supposed to have been done this morning. I don't, I don't, that's weird, isn't it? This is about the time of year now. Spring. They start ploughing a beach, I think. Um, yeah. So maybe it's a bit of a snag this morning. I don't know. Marcos, looking busy as always. Mess of slots down there. We've got some bubbles coming up, guys. Where's those bubbles coming from? Down there, look. Someone in their dry robe. It's nice to see a dry robe at the beach. People seem to wear them anyway now, don't they? Walking their dogs especially. Yes, that's right. That's right. Now somebody asked me in the last video, where's the squirrels? You've got Marcos here and you've got the Gavin and Stacey. You've got Fun Harbour on this side here. If you head up straight up this road here and you see the gates in front of you and then to the left of the gates, that's where they are. I hope that helps. Promenade Fair. All still the same. I can't imagine anything else being added to this because I don't think there's any more room. Now, it's... Uh, it's enough anyway, isn't it? Well, that's the first time I've seen Smuggler's Cove closed. All the sounds are still going on on it. But wow, that's normally open from the crack of dawn. Every day, mate. Doing some maintenance while it looks. Got a ladder up and all that. Guys, if you've got young children, this is a must visit. It really is an educational, well, not just educational, a really good experience. It's a fun experience. It takes you through the dangers of the sea, and uh, it tells you what the RL and I do on a you know on a daily basis. Um, yeah, so take your kids in there; it's really good. Yeah, definitely, hundred percent worth a visit. Completely free; don't cost you anything. Particularly if you get a bit of rain, you know, if you hear and the rain comes down, you can spend a good forty-five minutes hour in there, and it's yeah, it's really good. Some maintenance going on. Hyper value there with the steps. That was arcade when I was a kid. That was. Yeah. They're just repairing some some of the tiles there. It's good. It's always good to see, isn't it? It's 
quiet here this morning. It's normally a lot busier than this when the sun's out. I love it though, mate. Loves it. This place's been here a while now. Treats doggy style. Anything you might need for your dog. It's quite mad because there's all sorts here, mate. All sorts. You can even come here and buy your dog a new jumper. Lots of tweeting going on in here. Is there a nest in it? No, they stopped now. I scared them off. Guys, I thought I'd come back in the fair with my old friend, Mr. Bean, yeah, just to say goodbye. As always, thank you so much for joining me. It really means the world. Like, each video now is getting thousands of views and, wow, it blows me away. If you're new to the channel, guys, give us a subscribe. We really appreciate that. Completely free. Doesn't cost you a penny and means the world. Absolutely means the world to me and Mr. Bean. So, guys, thanks again for joining us. Don't get lost or squashed. And we speak more soon. Bye. Don't you spend no leave like...